Today on Blue Devil Weekly, we take a look at some awesome dogs from Mrs. Robineau's canine unit, meet with a teacher who's participating with No Shade November, and our weekly sports recap. Good morning, Murdoch. Ms. Robino's Law Class had special guests, the Winchin and Police in K-9 Unit, come in to show off their K-9 Clyde. On Tuesday, we were introduced to K-9 Clyde and Officer Weirden from the Winchin and Police Department as we got to see the amazing work that Clyde and Officer Weirden do on a daily basis. What's amazing about these dogs is their ability to track odor. These dogs have the ability to smell 100,000 times stronger than a human. K-9 units are one of the most important parts when it comes to law enforcement. They can do things that humans will not be able to do or solve cases that are needed to. Police dog, because a regular dog, like, I don't know, anybody have dogs here? How many of your dogs don't like to go out in bad weather? Like, if it's raining out, they don't want to go to the bathroom or something. They, um, they like to sleep on the couch or, like, do that stuff. Clyde is not like that. The moment he sees me, his tail starts wagging, he wants to work. If you're interested in learning more about law enforcement, make sure you see Officer Flagg, or even Miss Robineau, about taking her law class. A quick reminder that this upcoming Monday is Veterans Day. Winchenden will hold their annual Veterans Day parade, rain or shine. If it rains, meet at the American Legion at 11 a.m. And if the sun is shining, you can meet the parade at Gar Park for the same time. Come join others from the town for some food, an amazing parade, and most importantly, honoring our veterans, fallen or alive. One of our own teachers has chosen to participate in No Shave November in a unique way here at Murdoch. We caught up with math teacher Mr. Lanfer. As many of you guys might know, it's November, and November holds a lot of fun things. Thanksgiving break, Black Friday shopping, all those fun things. But it's also No Shave November. What many of you guys might not know is No Shave November is a month-long journey during which participants grow awareness by embracing our hair, which many cancer patients lose. The cause is to help raise money towards cancer awareness. We had the chance to check in with one of our staff members here at Murdoch as he took this tradition to a whole different level. Mr. Lanfer, why are you taking off the beard? So, the month of October, I challenged all my geometry classes to actually do their homework. So, for every homework assignment they did on time and completed, I tallied up the percentages for all three of my geometry classes. So, my percentages are over on the board over there. And each class, every day, I would check their homework. If they didn't have it done, they didn't get any credit for it. And I actually formed three percentages. So. At the beginning of the year, students don't really strive into doing a lot of homework and they kind of start off the year a little sluggish. So my goal is to promote students to do homework and learn outside of my classroom. So our, our percentages for homework went up 30% in the month of October. And now today, um, the class that won my B block geometry class, um, they get to shave off my beard in the last 20 minutes of class. So that's... Uh, that's why I did it. It also helps because my next unit of geometry is called Transformations, and this is kind of like a little transform of me. It's still me, but I'm changing a little bit, which is what G transformations mean in geometry. So, and No Shave November, you gotta, you gotta participate mm -hmm. in that, so I gotta go all the way down. Mr. Lanford's second period geometry class had the most homework completion in October and had the chance to shave off his beard. The winner of the food drive was Mr. Collins Senior Advisory. Congratulations and thank you for your donations. The Travel Club is having a cookie dough fundraiser from the 4th to the 15th of November to support their efforts in going to Barcelona, Madrid, Seville, and Spain during April vacation. The Travel Club will be selling homemade cookie dough, which is hand rolled, and the flavors consist of chocolate chip, M&M, peanut butter, Swedish sugar, and soft ginger. The rolls are $4 each and they yield approximately a dozen large cookies. They are frozen and delivered to you, just slice and bake. If you'd like to order some cookie dough, please reach out to Ms. Wheeler or Ms. Rondeau or order from any of the student travelers. Let's move on over to the sports recap with Alec and LJ. The seniors got a sweet victory against the Wildcats in the 16-6 standoff. Seniors Logan Huff and Louis Maldonado reeled in two interceptions each having a great night. The boys now will be on the road this week to Lunenburg to take on the Knights at 6 p.m. Friday night. The varsity cheer team traveled on to Quaybog to claim their first victory of the season. <laughs> The 
The cross country team is also going to compete in the state meet this Saturday at the Gardner Golf Course at 11 a.m. And that's all for a sports recap. Back to Patrick in the studio. Thank you. Now, let's pass it over to our student meteorologist, Justin. Hey guys, I'm here with the upcoming five day forecast. Today will be in the high 30s and tonight will be around 15 degrees. The football game tonight is going to be cold as temps will drop into the mid 20s. Tomorrow will be a high of 36 degrees and sunny skies while at night it will become partly cloudy with a low being around 25 degrees. Sunday will be partly sunny with a high of 46 degrees. Wind will pick up reaching gusts around 24 miles per hour. The low of Sunday will be around 33 degrees. Veterans Day is on a Monday this year and we'll have a chance to showers after 4 p.m. and a high of 44 degrees. Early Tuesday morning, there are a chance for light snow showers. Enjoy the long weekend ahead, folks. Back to Liana and Patrick in the studio. A quick reminder that you'll be getting end of the first quarter report cards today. You will be called out of the last five minutes of class, so be sure to race down to receive them. <laughs> GSA will be hosted in the band room on Wednesday once every two weeks at 2.05, ending anywhere between 3 or 3.30. Adventure Club or the Dungeons and Dragons Club will be hosted in the French room on Fridays at 2.05 and can go as long as 4.30. And students' picture retakes will be November 13th in the auditorium. Come out to the Powderpuff football game on Wednesday, November 13th. The annual game between the junior and senior girls will take place at 6 p.m at the Clark Memorial Fieldhouse. Admission is $5 with proceeds to be split among both classes and coaches versus cancer. Athletes have been preparing for weeks. The cheer routines promise to be entertaining, to say the least. Who will reign supreme on the gridiron this year? Come and see. Well, that's all we have for this week's events. Thanks for stopping by. Find us online at YouTube slash Blue Devil Weekly. Subscribe and push the notification bell so you are updated when we post next. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.